Hey guys, what's up? It's Chip Fan with another video, and here we got a replay of Socks playing Elementless again. And with me, I do actually have Socks who will commentate on this game with me. Yeah, so here we go. I think this game is versus Dinosaur and the other guy on Zerg. Yep, and there's a lot of dinosaurs, so. Yeah, there's a lot of dinosaurs. Um, yeah, so actually, I'm just following Socks. Like your, uh, your in-game view, because I can't find like your view of commentating. You know what I mean? All right. Well, so what do we got here? We got ADM. It says Warfield as well. We got um, some uh, engineer spirit in the game, but uh, later on it will really come down to. Uh, me and ADM defending versus Zurg. So, mm -hmm. I also want to have this as a guide for Elementalist. So, right. yeah, most of you probably already saw the other videos on Elementalist. So, in the beginning, it's really the same thing. You always try to get um, the fire ops up so you can watch the links. Like this. Uh, well, yeah, nothing you... special here. And another important note is what quest you get early. So overall, for the you have two types of income. There's like shield income and farm income. And for elementalists, the the farm income is a lot better. You get a lot you get a lot more minerals with that. And shield income is really uh, well weak compared. So I'm more reliable in the late game since you don't have to find any links and kills for it. No. Yep. Right. And you got radar first for the safety. Yeah, you always go. You always need yeah. radar because, because uh, the thing with the income is you you drop it. Like right now, I don't have any um, uh, farm income because I couldn't kill any ling. It's you, you see the bar right below my health, and that shows how many income stacks I have right now. And the radar helps you a lot to find income. Like right now, I, I used the wait. That's a good point. And now I try to get uh, a little bit of XP by teleporting from here to here to get a little bit of links with a fireball, but they kind of missed most of them, so it's not that good, but it's always worth it because versus Kerrigan, there's no point to save your teleport. Yeah, only the hacker really has kill potential against you. Right? Yeah, the okay. hacker's really yeah. the one one guy you can actually kill your early game, but but Kerrigan and and Brock and Darkrest really aren't able to do the same thing. Yeah. Or unless the Kerrigan says, uh, type in German and then taxi while you're trying to type in German. Yeah, <laughs> that works. <some. laughs> All right. So, uh, um, the next thing you want to do after you get the, like, uh, six strength, so you can one shot links, just get a little bit of intelligence. And I, I don't really get it to, like, um, well, I have a lot of, well, mana. You, you don't, you don't need so much energy. But what's really nice to be able to actually use a fireball and also an ice ball in close succession. Hmm. Do you know because like, like? Oh, sorry. Yeah, if you get surrounded by links and you can fireball them. Oh, here yeah, actually, that was really bad. <laughs> like, uh, run just into um, Zagara. But the idea was to actually get the ice ball in the middle of the game to snipe a drone or something. Like in the middle of the map. That's that sometimes can really fuck up. Um, well, the enemy. Do you know like how much intelligence you need to like have quicker cooldowns, like a double quicker cooldown, twice as quick? I don't know the exact value, but um, I really look on the maximum energy. That's that's the point okay. I always focus on because I know um, ice ball is uh, seventy five and fireball is fifty, so the least you need is like um, well, hundred hundred and twenty five. Mm -hmm. If you have less, you're really fucked up at one point. But but that's that's okay. So. At this point, I really had like uh, less than maximum half, and that's really bad for the mentalist because you don't get any um, income. But if you have a swan like this guy or any any well anybody who can heal you, that's really useful. I, I always look out for people like that, like Stukovs, scientists, swans, technicians if they know how to use technical arsenal. Like that that can help a lot to get back to full health. 
And here's another another thing. You see, this this is a fire orb, a drop fire orb, and I almost nobody uses it. So um, the idea behind this, you, you drop it, and it kills links. And when it kills links, it, it refreshes your income. So if it would kill a link right now, I would get my income back up because mm. I'm just about to lose it. You see it? Yeah. Like I'm at free, and 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 it's almost uh, over. And I always use it when my energy is full. Because then it's 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 worth it. But if I have less than full energy, I usually don't use it. All right. So Skara's really like up onto me. She doesn't want to. Uh, yeah, she doesn't want me to kill any links here. Yeah, uh, and and also, yeah, she wants to protect the creep. And I think it's a good thing to do because you really get a lot of experience as elementalist from arresting creep. Mm -hmm. That makes me think, that makes me wonder if there's like some build where you just drop as many fireworks as possible. Yeah, I think you can do it, but but there's also like, um, the question, do you want to send minerals to your allies or do you want to drop um, fire orbs? Yeah. Because it's actually, it's not for free, you know, you always pay like 70 minerals for yeah. every fire orb you drop. I just feel like it can keep you at full farm stacks too though. Yeah, that is that it's useful, you know. Um, I think the the interesting point is you wanna you wanna use it as soon as you get the first of the of the um, study studying hard quests because you really want to get those done as soon as possible and and you yeah. don't get like full experience from kills uh, from your drop fire ops but you get a bit of it and as soon as you get this done you can get in the import quest that give you more more um, income and more shields that's just what you need. Because yeah. right now, right now is the well time of the game where you are the easiest to kill. Like a good Kerrigan can kill you right now, really, really easy because you're so weak. It's only free and HP if you take shields and uh, HP together. A few links and you're dead. Well, and I also like. Like to send minerals to the survivors, the most promising, I guess. Uh, normally, I wouldn't send to a warfield because, well, warfields uh, don't make the most useful minerals. I like to send it to Helios or like survivors with normally uh, weaker economies. But well, in this game, I decided that ADM is the most promising guy, and I tried to like boost him so you can get ahead. I think that's one of the main strengths about Mount Plus. Yeah, you get so much money, but you have to pick the right quest for it. Yeah, which is the farm quest. Yeah, that's yeah. where I can, I can show the quest. And yeah, I also yeah. can explain a little bit about them, because um, I checked a, a few of the other replays, and um, most players seem to like value a lot of quests a little bit different than I do. Because um, they are like three points of, of, of farm income. You can increase the maximum stacks you can have, you can increase the minerals you gain, but you can also increase the time, yeah. like the, the period. And th this quest is actually really important because mm -hmm. it can like double your income if you max it out. So that one is really, uh, that's really a quest you shouldn't like, um, well, ignore. Yeah, um, by the way, uh, it doesn't like show your, what you're like highlighting. In the quest, so I have to like highlight it individually, but I'm like trying to it do that. So that's my ability. Okay, okay, okay. So I've showed the quest before, kind of with my mouse. Yeah, and you always get like one point in everything just because the reward is two quest points. I know. Yeah, that. but but not every quest. Uh, yeah. This quest, the, the creep harass quest, yeah, is yeah. a little bit of a trap because you don't get quest points back, so you can really wait, dump all your points in there, and you well, you run out of quest points at some point. So. Mm -hmm. It's, it's it's a little bit dangerous, but overall, it's really good to get um, one point in everything. Um, well, the spell quests are a little bit special. I think uh, it really depends on the on the circ player. If you if you find a lot of ling balls, the spell quests are really good. Otherwise, they are a bit of a like uh, trap, I guess. All right. Depending on how many like ling balls they send and everything. Roach balls too. Yeah, if they send ling balls and roach balls, the spells the spell quest is useful. Otherwise it's well sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. But you will see later in the game because uh, this is no like uh, bad turk, so they will actually attack with a lot of units, but it will take a while. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, okay. here, oh, I almost fucked up. This I almost fucked up. That was a really good fungo. It, it got me, but I got all of the links around and immediately moved away. And um, a lot of players focus solely on Ice Paul to get away, but uh, Mirage is also really, really good. Hello, boys. Uh, hey, we're casting a replay right now. <laughs> you see for the replay? Video. For a video, yes. yeah. And. Because you can use um, so... fire. Get faster, right? Is can that you important? invite me to the? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? I can stream it. Do you want to commentate as well? Uh, what do you mean with the can you uh, can use fire faster? Um, I remember there's like a thing where if you kill lanes with fire orbs, you move like 20 percent faster. And ah, you mean you mean the I think quest, they the, the spell the, the spell center? It was this one, one of the towns. Well, I can't see what you're highlighting. Oh. But... oh. Oh, you can't see what I highlight. Okay, that's bad. But, but normally the only quest that improves your movement speed is uh, like um, spell enter that allows you to move faster when you kill oh, lanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's. I think it was out. really dominant in the well lightning storm matter when you can like run over creep and mm -hmm. kill all the creep tumors. But I don't like to pick it anymore too much because well it means you have to turn around and use spells. Right now I just try to get away. Oh, yeah. Now actually this is this is interesting because Circus is uh, really like abusing the weakness. And and here's here's the use of marriage like Mirage. Yeah. I I the the good thing about the spell is that uh, the two clones have a higher priority than your your main hero. So links will always follow them. So you can turn around, use the ability, and run in the other direction, and you get rid of the links. And that's yeah, well, partly how I survived this situation. Oh, he's got a power cruiser. Heal you up. Yeah, yeah. ADM is really like the guy who actually does a lot in this game. And uh, at, at this location, we'll have a big fight later in the game. Uh, but I think it's like one or two minutes in, so it will take a while. And I also try to like, um, well, get Zerg away from here. And yeah, we also talk about this wall. It's like, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, don't don't wall your teammates in. It's not a good thing. All right. Uh, so another thing you you talked a lot about is um the the spell upgrades, right? Yeah. You, you always were wondering why I don't use it so much, and and the main thing why I don't use it because it increases the um, cost of your spell. So if you if you if you want to um, send a lot of minerals to your allies, it's kind of bad to use it, but um. What I really I like, the, the best upgrade, I think, is the cooldown reduction. Especially if you get, um, well, focused by or yeah. like chased, chased by, by Kerrigan, it's really good to reduce the cooldown. So you can um, use Ice Ball and then uh, this ball, like Mirage, a lot, a lot more, a lot more often. It's, well, it can save you sometimes. Yeah, I know. Um, late game, you get like two in cooldown multiplier. I wasn't yeah, really, it really surprised by that. Like, I was just curious. Uh, you want to know about the price? Yeah, I know the price goes up a ton. Yeah, but 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 it's it's, it's different uh, from the different um, well multipliers because the the main damage one um, doubles uh, like increases the price a lot more than the cooldown reduction that only mm. like adds a gas price to the spells. Oh. And normally, all your spells only cost minerals, but if you reduce the cooldown, they also cost gas. And well, in most games, gas isn't a big issue because well, you kill links, you get gas, so no big deal. But sometimes, if you like. Uh, swap spells a lot and don't get killed. You can run out of gas, and then it gets really dangerous because you can't swap spells anymore. So that's something you have to look out for. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So um, ADM is starting to like make a huge base down here. Like that's actually really uh, strong, and that's also really early in the game. 60 minutes and already uh, well, a lot of. Um, planetary fortresses. I think he has some battle cruisers and outhouses, and he's already maxed out on supply, I guess. Yeah. So it's this isn't that's a strong base. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Serk will notice this really soon and attack, and well, then actually the mid game begins, and then well, that's that's the point where a lot of elementalists start to like struggle. Uh, I see a lot of them not uh, well swept between spells a lot, and and I think you have to do this if you actually want to like, well, be useful. 
Yeah. So which... a lot of players just use fireball and then think that's that's all they have to do. So but I don't think it's like that. Well, what is your normal rotation? Because I know you usually use fireball. Uh, freezing all right. Field, I think it. Yeah, yeah. Meteor, I like I like freezing field and fireball, but it depends on the enemy unit composition because fireball and freezing field are both really useful versus uh, links like circlings and bane links. But if you face roaches, um, they are both uh, weaker. And if you face uh, somps or like brutalisk, you don't want to use fireball and uh, freezing field because they don't really hurt them. Hmm. Uh, I think this this uh, this game really shows well how different spells can be used in different situations. So, uh, so, uh, so he's already here and he already attacks. Yeah. So that was. And, okay. Let's see. Let's see what I use. Let's see what. I use. For more vulnerability. So the first thing I use is um, sleep and freezing field, because it's it's 70 minutes in. So I don't think they have brutalisk or like banes or uh, or like um, sums already. So they are both really nice and. Well, what Zerg does here is a little bit of a blunder, I think. You shouldn't spawn your overload so close to the enemy, because yeah. he spawned three and two already died immediately. That's that's bad. But his upgrades are already not that strong. All right. All right. So let's continue. He spawned some roaches here. I think it's not a bad call. I think he kills most of the stuff here. And I have, a, I, have a, uh, I have a pretty big problem right now because I'm really out of energy. I I just uh, wanted to switch to fireball here, and I see those banelings coming up. And well, I I can't really use spells. I'm only have self, I only have 30 energy. I would I would really love to like use anything on those roaches here, but I can't. So I just sit here, try to get some experience points. It's it's really it's really um important to get levels. Don't stay in the back. Always stay close to the enemies dying, so you can level up. Here here I got a really good fireball, and I think if I well if I act smart, I can't wait a moment. I got some spell multipliers here to like add a little bit more damage to roaches, but because normally if you only have three levels and fire orbs, you can't one shot roaches. So you need to like get some spell upgrades. All right. So I think that's a, that's a good, good um, moment to explain a few things. Yeah. So, I mean, sure. We have we have ADM. He has a lot of units. He's strong, but they also got two two. And I think it it looks like um, survivors are winning here, but actually it's just one guy. It's just one guy that the spirit isn't fed or something. So it's just it's just uh, Warfield and and um, Elementals defending. And uh, we actually won't hold here. So. Uh, you see, my focus is more, mostly on intelligence. I want to use spells. I want to like um, destroy all those uh, units, so so we can actually hold the space and not just damage carry. In the, in the last patch, I would probably just go for fire orbs and try to do damage to carry in, but right now it's not strong enough. I need to like make our base hold a little bit longer, and that's what I, I will do in the next minutes. So I, I opted for a meteor because that like shreds all those units. See they mostly die or get or die a few seconds later. And yeah, we actually managed to um, scare Kerrigan away. It's it's really good. Um, so quest wise, we can talk about quests here I guess. Quest. Uh, you don't see the quest, right? Well I'm I'm on my screen. Okay, you show them on your screen. So I, I still think Fire Orb Mastery is the best of those three because in the end you can oh, do talents. damage to oh. yeah the talents. Yeah, talents. I mean, sorry. The Fire Orb Mastery is still the the most useful talent because you can actually deal damage to Soms and carry them with it, especially okay. Soms because your spells don't really work well against high health targets. Yeah. So Fire Orb Mastery somehow allows you to deal a lot of damage to to Soms and Brutalist. Yeah, my screen's um, bugged right now. Can you like pause and then? Okay. Yeah, yeah. See that? Text? Yeah, right there. Okay, cool. So that's yeah. You, you see? Okay, all right. Yeah. And another important quest is illusionist. Like later in the game, I will I will um, have to use it and always put one point in it because you you want the blink. The blink mm -hmm. yeah can like 
It's, it's similar to teleportation mark when you can um, port from low ground to high ground. You can also do this with uh, Mirage if you use it properly. Like teleportation mark, I don't use it at all since I figured out how to use Illusionist as a talent. It's it's better for escape, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, what do you think about this game? Um, I think you haven't seen it, right? Do you think we can I, I don't think I've seen it. I don't know, probably not. I, especially after what you said, but... A lot of it's just like tier 1 marines. The planters look scary, but they're not as strong as they look. I guess, I guess you're right. I mean... He's got a few battle cruisers. He's got a battle cruiser in there, which helps a lot. Yeah, and the, and the, and the outhouses, right? That's, that's really useful. But, but they, are, they are getting banes, and I see it, and I try to snipe them with another meteor to just like uh, drop the numbers, but it didn't work out this time. Yeah. And the next spells I get is uh, Freezing Field and Soul Catching Zone. They're also kind of useful because, okay, I see banes, and with this banes, I said the best spells are like Fireball and Freezing Field. You can really like grind down all the bane links with one good Freezing Field. Yeah. Um, that's actually the reason why I asked Swan to get a sensor turret down, so I see where the banes are coming from. But somehow he doesn't do it. But there they come. And wait, yep, so, so this, is, this, this was really nice. Sorry, this was really nice. Like I, basically, I killed a shit ton of banelings there, and it was the combination of those two spells. The mm -hmm. freezing field kills them. The soul catching zone turns them around, and they kill the rest of the banelings. So a lot of banelings died here just the two spells. Yeah, that was a good combo. It's it's really a good combo another spell with soul catching zone, so you don't well, you shouldn't solely rely on other players killing units, you can actually kill units yourself and use soul catching zone as well. Mm. Alright. I think they rely a lot of links right now and they will try to get another good meteor and this one is a little, little bit better. I get some money back, get my quest done, and I also get like a lot of levels here. All right. So, what do you think should Zerg do at this moment? Get thumbs? What what kind of unit composition would you opt for? Hmm, I don't think lanes or bane lanes are very good for selling to this. Same with roaches. I don't know. Maybe either thumbs or piglets. I don't know. How well do you do versus piglets? Because they have a high HP pool. Mm, yeah, it's, it's similar to Storms. You're not you're not that strong against high high health targets. You're really like a small unit grinder most of the time because you can't like kill them all at the same moment. I uh, hear like they they try to well find a backdoor here, but they didn't really make it. Another meteor grinds the roaches and they have to retreat again. But uh, ADM also loses his uh, yeah, centers exactly. here, and, uh, and that's that's really bad because it gets reset now, loses all the levels. Yeah, and fifty gas. Yeah, 50 gas as That's well. That's a lot too. Yeah, but uh, they went for the uh, for the roach solution and well tried to overwhelm us here. Another soul catching zone. This time yeah. I didn't uh, well combine it with another spell. I get a lot less uh, well controlled, so it's not really that useful. Yeah, I I really like freezing field to be honest. It's it's. <laughs> This, it's actually, uh, you, you saw that it actually got shielded by the uh, Statilite, even though it's not attackable. It's, <laughs> it's funny. funny little thing, yeah. but yeah, yeah it's, no, it's a funny little thing. But but we're really getting like uh, punched hard by those roaches here. Yeah, like he just spams down the roach key, and uh, well, he he breaks us. Yeah, I think a lot of units die. Those uh, marines don't really well are too useful. Um, he used another spell like sleep. Yeah, um, for the is it for the vulnerability? Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 just you can block stuff, you know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Those, those roaches just don't do nothing right now, and it's it's a lot better if you have a small choke point. Like if they would attack here or something, sleep would be like uh, like uh, you don't see where a point, right? But if it's a I'm small okay ramp or something, yeah. and you and you sleep, it's it's so good because units get blocked. And it's actually, if you if you just hit the unit right now, it won't get damaged. They get like one shield, <laughs> a shell. Uh, it's just so sir can actually attack their own units to break the sleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> I asked Padlet about it. 
That's funny. Yeah, here another meteor. I just want to kill all those units. I don't want to lose the space. And I'm trying my best. Yeah, I also still have some energy left. Another fireball. Try to rotate to throw all my spells. Get back into like um, ice orbs to get my energy back. That's always what I try to do. After I use a spell, I always try to get back into ice orb. Another fireball, and then now I up back for freezing field. You see, I, I rotate to all, uh, well through all those um, area damage spells. Yeah. I think, yeah, like I fucked up my micro a little bit, but but still, I think it, it worked somehow. We reduced the numbers of the roaches, but well, Zerg is not giving up. Yeah, like use the three fire spells. Um, yeah, the three fire spells are really the best. Field. And then here's another point where I tried to good, get a good soul catching sound, but we lost vision, so it didn't really work out so well. Oh. So I think I go for mostly intelligence. Like this is this is just a game where you need where you need energy. You want to use spells. Like your your normal attacks won't cut it. I think you have to use the spells. And maybe yeah. I'm... Well, they they are about to break here. Like um, the the planetary planetary fortresses are dying, and the Murloc marine, Murloc marines aren't really cutting it right now. So now it's also a really interesting point because at this point most elementalists would be uh, okay. I'm fucked up, right? Yeah. So how am I supposed to get out of this? There, like I don't know, uh, 60, 60 links, twenty roaches or something. How do I get out of this? And I was actually well, I, I thought okay, I'm probably dead. But I tried to escape. I think, okay, maybe the space is, is gone. Um, yeah. uh, I used another orb. I mm -hmm. immediately switched to like three, uh, three ice orbs so I can escape because they give me armor. They they have the with those I have the best chance to escape. And well, it's a little bit like every man for himself at this point because we were about to die, and I actually thought I would die here. It's really, really close. Look, look at my HP, and, and yeah. there's also Sagara. But I get a list, this really clutch Ice Ball with 200 HP. Somehow roll oh away. You know? If you die in Ice Ball, do you die in real life? No, no, you don't. You don't. You just oh, yeah. get uh, put out. But also afterwards, you, you, you don't select yourself. That's a little bit different. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you immediately have to select. And yeah, I, I see Sagara teleporting and immediately lose the other spell, the, the uh, Mirage. Yeah. And go straight for So like split up, and somehow it works. I get away. And you already have another Ice Ball up. Yeah, because I like yeah. if I see in, in this situation, in this situations you always want to like max out. Oh, I should have got a lot, a lot more so, um, multipliers here, but I didn't. And I actually used the teleportation mark to get down here, so probably I I did take the quest, but the other spell wasn't cool. On like my team is well, um, big shout out to Finger Boom here because he made another base, but I had to get there somehow because <laughs> I was I was really like cut off on the other side of the map, and I was like, okay, I have to get down here. But how the fuck? Because this space, well, was this a good Zerg? Uh, a spirit can't really like win alone, I think. Yeah. So it has a hard time at least. So I tried to get there somehow, and it was a race worth time because they would break the base, but I had to get there. So another ice bomb. <laughs> it's always a little bit funny to use the spell because you have to parkour between all the links and the buildings. Yeah, yeah. You can make it. And you always slow down when you're about to go on a ramp, right? Yeah, I always slow down and enter the like corner. Right, you know, right, yeah. right here, I slow down just to get around the corner a little bit well, better. Oh, that one yeah. lane. Oh my god. Yeah, and here yeah, I fucked up. <laughs> I just hit the corner and I was like, ah, wait, well, I have to spell back again. Don't worry, I have a lot of intelligence. I can make it. And I wanted to get there before they broke uh, this part. And here's a good point. I think this was the best part of the game oh. because I used every single spell for uh, AOE damage in close succession to uh, well destroy all those and check my levels. Right now I'm yeah. level 62. You're like, like a perfect angle for meteor too. Yeah, it's, it's it's amazing. I just swept immediately into meteor. Like, oh look at this. That's yeah. just yeah, <laughs> just shredding. Look at my level. Like, Your 72. money went up. Like, yeah, K. look at this. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually use this right now. In, the, in this situation, I'm really like, oh. bam! Like in a few seconds, I would get a storm mode level nine, just to just so I get a big lightning storm to kill Kerrigan. Look at your but, money. Yeah. You went up to forty k. Yeah, it's it's crazy. After it's crazy. killing the units, like instead of it costing you money, it gave you forty k. 
Yeah, it's crazy, right? And it's mostly because of uh, the burn them all quest. Yeah. Because uh, every every unit you kill with a fireball will explode like one or two seconds later. Mm -hmm. And if this explosion kills another unit, uh, you will get money and it will explode again. So it's like a cascading effect. Yeah. You really have to look out for a Zerg with this, like good meteors to not like like feed elementalist too much because right now I got got from level 70 to or 60 to level 90. Now there's the lightning storm. And look, yeah. I got um, storm up to level 10. I just spam clicked here to get the level up, and well, that's the end. Did you get the storm orbs after you casted lightning storm or right before? Uh, no, no, no. You have to get it. You have to get it before. It's not okay. the dynamic. You have. To, you also have to get the spell upgrades before. I think I actually uh, maybe you can see it. I don't know. Maybe you can see it. But I actually had the spell upgrade. Oh, because I think it but used actually... to be dynamic, and then it got patched. Yeah, did it? I, I, oh. I think. Yeah, there's a neat little trick. Like for example, you can um, get the the cooldown reduction up, mm -hmm. like the, the the spell upgrade, and you can well use it and then reduce it without actually, like you can just use the use the cooldown reduction without actually paying for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that that's a neat little trick. And yeah, yeah, I, I think it's a it's a good game to show the usage of most of the spells. Yeah, that was a good game. It was really close to the end. Yeah, it was it was really close. Like uh, if they killed me there, I think uh, well the survivors would have a lot harder time yeah. to actually finish them off. Yeah, well that was the end of the replay. GGS. See you guys in the next video.